Good morning. Welcome to Larry Gomes Stadium for the semi-final knockout competition of the Flow Youth Pro League. Uh, a little bit wet out there today, but it's not too bad. Um, we have defence force in the yellow against San, San Juan Jablate in the green. Jablate, of course, the under-14 league champions, so they're on a roll. But a nice thing about this competition is that defence force who finished fifth in the league are still playing for a trophy, so they're still motivated. So it's very much stone at the moment, but we know that Jablote have got plenty of goals in them. 37 goals from nine games in the league. That's an average of four a game. And of course that 10-0 drubbing of North East Stars and then 8-0 against Central. But defence force at the moment tidying up Daniel Rose. Quite comfortable to play the ball out. And uh, this is where it's a shame we don't have ball boys because so much time is being lost recovering the ball. Or at least we could be using a, a multi-ball system. There are There is a ball behind each goal, but um, we're losing so much time for throw-ins. We're going to give a free kick there. So can the passion and the aggression of uh, defence force match the guile and uh, the potency of Samuel Jablatay's attacking force? Only time will tell. Free kick comes in again. Again, it's a defence force player first to the ball. Oh, good shot. He took it on the turn. <coughs> Went for the near post and it wasn't a bad shot, you know. It was only probably six inches wide of that uh, near post. Hayes went down, but uh, I don't think he would have got that. That was forced in again. Oh, and that's a goal. What a good goal. It came out of nowhere, really. It didn't look that dangerous, but uh, just that right foot shot into the bottom left-hand corner. Great goal there from uh, Nicosi. To be honest, it was a bit of a surprise. And I think it was a surprise for Hayes as well, because uh, he didn't seem prepared for it. And here we see it again there. It's a nice little play, the ball. Just placed there. Just set up nicely and just right foot into the corner. That was Kishon, the old Kishon, the number seven, who set that one up. Ball coming in for the left hand side. Darian Marfin to take it. It's not a bad kick, but it's cleared away. Oh! Nope, it's going to come back out to Marfan. Now, what can Marfan do now? To the uh, opposing area. And one this time. Oh! oh, and it's a goal. Well. Koshun Dio was the person who made the first goal. He turned and shot. Well, I think it was a shot. <laughs> And just popped in the nets there. But the goalkeeper, uh, but the uh, referee says offside. Referee not happy with something. But that's it, that's half time. And we're seeing Defence Force losing 1 0 at the moment. Um, to a goal from Ambrose. Game underway again now. Jablote to kick off. Jablote kicking from the right to left as we look at it. So let's see what uh, changes the coaches have made. 
most forward player for defence forces Reyes waiting for the break ball comes across a lot of people jumping for it there Hayes has taken a knock I'm not sure about that Marfan now sitting over the ball looks like he's going to cross it with his left foot now this is a test for Hercules Hercules hasn't really looked that solid this game normally he's not a bad goalkeeper but today he's looked a bit iffy so let's see what uh, if they can test Hercules this time left foot cross coming in defence force need a goal right now and they got a lot of men in the box this time ball's coming it's a good oh just hit it long and I guess really in that situation it wasn't a good a good shot on goal it wasn't a good cross it was kind of neither really at the end of the day what a shame because that was a good opportunity for defence force there the cross needs to be just past the 18 or just past the penalty spot will be good and there's a good cross and it yes a goal that's it that is the goal and there we saw it Hercules really hasn't looked very solid today the ball come in and it was Reyes I think it was quickest to it so it looks like it was Reyes who scored we see Marpan cross the ball is a much 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 better cross it had the defenders facing their own goal which they don't like Hercules didn't take command of the situation and the ball just bounced there here it comes again Marfan crosses his left foot it's curling in towards the goalkeeper Jabba's Day players facing their own and basically what happened there was uh, Hercules was blocked by his own player really you can see right in front of Hercules his own player jumped no communication at all and it just fell for Reyes this is a game now 1-1 one, one. and that was really a lack of communication the goalkeeper's got to command his box there should be no question whose ball that was and um, that little miscommunication there now has brought defensives back into the game let's see what they can do well Jablote closed him down quickly but for a second there Miller had a glance at goal he with no one between him and uh, Hercules and I'd imagine in that situation he quite fancied himself but uh, the Jablote defenders got back and covered and that's it well, time's up, so Defence Force with that late equaliser now have kept themselves in the game. So, who's stepping up first for Defence Force to take this? Little prayer from Jablote. So, it's Best who's uh, stepping up first for Defence Force. Left foot, and he missed! Well... He, was, he did look very confident. And he's Kanye Baker. And there's a difference. That wasn't the best penalty in the world, but he hit it low into the corner. And again, overconfident perhaps. And a great penalty. <coughs> Nothing flash, no stepping back, no hesitating, just bang, straight in. I'm going to kick it left foot. And he finally gets the ball in the net. Well done. So Sween going to take it left foot. Aiden Hayes got to pull something out of the bag. And it's missed. And it's exactly the point. He didn't need to do that. He didn't need that power. He didn't need that lift. He just needed to hit the target. So... Goal. Yes, Trotman gets it in the net, so it's 2-2, two -two, but Jablote have the advantage. That was Tariq Trotman there. Now let's see what happens. And he's missed as well. Oh my goodness, it's swung the other way. So, we saw Defence Force miss the first two penalties. Jablote scored their first two penalties. He's going to take it left foot. He can put Defence Force in the lead for the first time in the whole game. Miller. Oh, and he's done. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. The first save that Hercules has made in the entire match. Kick is for a place in the final. How exciting can you get? The last kick. And he's saved. Oh my goodness, he saved it. Oh, this is fantastic stuff. So. Yes, Rose scores. So again, Defence Force are in front. This is absolutely... In. Here it comes. And he's got it. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. So, he's got to score to keep the pressure on Jablote. 
and he's missed. He's put it wide. He's put it wide. It wasn't a good penalty. It's gone wide. And now the pendulum swings back in the favour of Jablote. And he's got it. Yes, that's it. Jablote are through. Joseph gets the winning goal. And look how excited they are. And defence force must be devastated. So it ended up being 4-3 on penalties. It went to sudden death. And defence force were so, so close. Coming back, they lost or they missed their first two penalties. Jablote scored. It must have been very comfortable for Jablote.